In this video we're just going to run through how to geotag images on the Panasonic GH6. So this is something you might want to do if you travel a lot and you shoot a lot of images or maybe you do multiple jobs in one day and you just need to keep track of sort of where the less descriptive shots are taken so you know b-roll that type of thing. Um, so to do this as a kind of a prerequisite, we need to get the Lumix Sync app set up on um, a mobile device, so a phone or a tablet, and that device will need an active Bluetooth connection and GPS. Um, if you haven't done this already, uh, I'll link above to a video sort of up in the corner uh, just on how to do that, and um, yeah, follow that video and then come back to this one and then you'll be able to get this set up really quickly. So the reason that we need need to do it through the sync app is because the camera itself doesn't have a gps module so we'll need to kind of harness the gps module from either the phone or the tablet just to get the data we need to geotag the images so you'll need to obviously make sure that whatever phone or tablet you connect actually has gps switched on um, some tablets have gps modules some don't you'll easily be able to find that out in the settings drawer on the um, on the device i'd say personally this is probably a lot more convenient to do on a phone than a tablet but you know you'll be able to do it and just sort of decide for yourself how you want to use this feature so the first thing we'll do is we need to jump into the bluetooth menu so if we get into the camera and then we're just going to hit the menu button and then in here we're going to go to the wrench or the spanner and then we need to go to, uh, it's called the in-out menu, it's the one with the little square and the kind of Wi-Fi icon on it. Um, and in here we've got our Bluetooth menu, so um, by default usually it's switched off and what we're going to do, uh, like I said, we've already connected to the um, Lumix Sync app and everything, so what we're going to do is just jump into this menu, switch it on, and it'll just say please wait. And then what you'll see, you'll always know if Bluetooth is on on the camera because you'll have this blue light on the top. Um, so now it's switched on, we've got our options. We covered this in our last video, you know, the, the bits and pieces in here. Um, but for this one, all you'll need to make sure is just make sure location logging is turned on, otherwise this won't work. Um, and right now, my phone isn't on the Lumix Sync app, we're not connected in any way. So you can see just up here, um, when we turn Bluetooth on, uh, we get that Bluetooth icon, so if we come back again actually and we'll just turn location logging off, you can see we've just got the little Bluetooth icon up there. It's kind of a semi-transparent state at the moment, which um, means it's the Bluetooth switched on, but it's not actually connected to anything. And the same with, if we turn the location logging on, you can see at the top it uh, just says GPS. I, I believe on the older cameras there was kind of like a, a little satellite icon, they've changed that now just to GPS, so it's the equivalent of that essentially um, and you can see like I say they're both semi-transparent because they're not connected so what I'm going to do is just switch on my Lumix Sync app on my phone and then you can see once I've switched that on because we've previously connected to it the Bluetooth is just connected on the phone so when we come back to the camera you can see now rather than being in a semi-transparent state the uh, the Bluetooth icon and the GPS icon have both gone solid. So that means we're connected on Bluetooth and the GPS is going to work. So um, what I'll do, I probably won't be able to actually lock a shot just again because the um, because of the focus. So what I'll do is I'll just take a shot of this out of focus. And what you'll be able to see if we jump back into the playback you can see here up in the corner, so if we've got the GPS coordinates um, geotagged to the image, you can see here it says GPS underneath. Um, so I've got a couple there where there is GPS enabled. Um, and then when you get to ones that don't have it, um, it just won't be there. So obviously for videos, other photos that don't have it. So um, yeah, you can see that the, um, the GPS information has been recorded there to the image. And once you've got this information, so essentially all it's doing, it's sending the uh, the longitude and latitude to the um, to the file's metadata. So if you work with the um, image on a computer, say you're in Lightroom or something similar, you can jump into the info tab and you'll actually be able to uh, see in a map view where the image was taken. And then when you no longer require um, location logging or you're shooting video or 
you know, for whatever reason you don't want it, um, I would definitely, definitely say come back into the camera. Um, I mean, for one, you, you could just turn location log, uh, location login off if you like, um, but probably better is just to switch Bluetooth off of itself because um, although this is a really nice little feature, um, it will have an additional drain on your battery. So uh, just be aware of that. I mean, it's not such a big deal with photos. It's easy to swap batteries out, but just be aware that, you know, anytime you're using the Bluetooth to connect to the sync app and you're doing things like this, it, it, it's going to have an additional drain on that battery. So um, yeah, just I'd kind of use Bluetooth sparingly. And the last thing to remember is um, if you share these images with anybody, that metadata is actually part of the file now. So, you know, if you're shooting images and you, um, you're you sharing them and you don't want people to have access to that information, then it's really important that you either don't shoot them with the metadata on, or if you do shoot them with the metadata on, that's fine. Um, but there are lots of tools out there, um, like I think one of them is called Toolsy, and you, you can just strip uh, metadata from, um, from the file. So, you know, just, just be aware that if you're shooting with the um, uh, the location logging on, it is going to sort of tell people where all of the images were shot. So if there's any kind of privacy concerns around anything, just be sure to strip that data before sharing the files. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's um, that's been helpful. If it has, give the video a like. Um, if you want to learn more about the Panasonic GH6, then check out the playlist on this channel or uh, please subscribe.